happy Friday. Today we are going to do a very cool science experiment, but we're not just going to do just one very cool science experiment. We're going to do two. But before I get to the science experiment, I wanted to show you guys my caterpillars. Yay. So I have one right here. Remember, this is the first one that turned into a caterpillar or turned or made its cocoon. You guys see it? It's still changing in there. Super cool. And then look inside here. There's one that's made its cocoon. And there's the other. I don't know where the other one is at, but hopefully he made his cocoon too. So, now, do you guys remember when we were talking about our eggs for Easter? Well, I want you guys to look at the egg that went through osmosis and we put in corn syrup. Look at what happened to it. Isn't that so cool? I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to show you. But first I'm going to get a paper towel. Okay. I'm going to take it out. Oh. Wow. Let me get you guys a closer look. So look, so this is the egg from the water from the first time, okay? It still has its shell and everything. And remember, this egg went through vinegar and it went through the stage of osmosis. And remember before, it was bigger than our original egg? Well, now look. Now it's smaller and... Our egg is no longer bouncy. It has deflated. And you can see the little yolk inside. So, now I'm going to kind of tell you what happened. So, remember when our egg went through the vinegar, it went through a stage of osmosis. And osmosis means that water and liquid can go, or air and liquid can go through the egg to make it bigger. Well now, corn syrup is very, very sugary, okay? And so what happened is when we put it in the corn syrup, the sugar inside the corn syrup took out all the liquid out of the egg and made it deflate. So now it looks like this. Isn't that awesome? That is so cool. But now, we're going to do something else with this egg, okay? We're gonna put this egg in colored water. What do you think is gonna happen to the egg when I put it in colored water? Hmm. Well, I know my prediction was wrong when I said it was going through corn syrup, I said it was going to go back to how it originally was. So maybe this time it's going to go back to how it originally was? What's your prediction? Send it to me, okay? So we're going to put this one in, so that's regular water right there. And I'm going to get out some green die here. Alright. I'm going to put it in the water and I'll let you know in my next science video what happens to this egg. Let's see, I'm going to let the water mix around. So, now we are ready for our next science experiment. Yes, we are, aren't we, Kyler? 
Are you ready for our next science experiment? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, remember, friends, when we learned about vibration, we learned that um, when we make a sound, the sound vibrates through the air, right, to make you hear it, okay? So, we are now going to actually see vibration travel through the air. Isn't that cool? So cool. So cool. What we need for this science experiment is we need a little teaspoon of rice, saran wrap, or plastic wrap. We have a bowl. We need a pan. And then we need a spoon. Okay? So, I already done this step. So if you want to do this step at home, you need to take just a regular bowl like this and put saran wrap around it. Do you guys see how I have saran wrap on it? Super cool. Okay, and then we're going to take just a little bit. Hold on, Kyler. Just wait. Just wait. We're going to take a little bit of rice and put it on top. Just like this. Hopefully you guys can see that. I need my stuff out of there. You see what I did? And then, this is what we're gonna do. I have my pan right here and it is not even touching the rice. All right, Kyler, he's gonna help me out today. Oh, he knows what he's gonna do. He is going to use this spoon and bang on this pan. Now, what do you think is going to happen when Kyler hits the spoon on the pan? Do you think the rice is going to move? Well, let's find out what happens. Do it over here. Did you see it move, friends? So cool. The Me. pan is not even touching this bowl. Me. When Kyler hits the spoon on the pan, it's making that sound, causing the vibration to make the rice move. How awesome. Science is so cool. All right. Well, I hope you guys have a fantastic Friday. Okay? See you all on Tuesday. Bye.